case started in the federal courts, and the federal courts were left to uh, continually consider how the California Supreme Court would decide. Finally, when the, it got to the Ninth Circuit, the Ninth Circuit just decided, hey, let's ask the California Supreme Court, uh, as they're entitled to do. Uh, and the California Supreme Court issued their decision uh, per the Ninth Circuit's request. California employers are entitled to set their own work week. And what I mean by that is that if a California employer wants to say, our work week is from Saturday at midnight to the following Saturday at 11.59 p.m., uh, they're free to do that. And employees, conversely, are entitled to have one day of rest uh, within that, that seven-day work week, as the employer defines it. So uh, it's not just any uh, seven days. The employer is free to set what those seven days are. A lot of California employers, uh, as you can imagine, are, are retail employers that have their employees working uh, seven days a week, or, or at least their staff of employees working seven days a week. And oftentimes, those employees uh, will trade shifts. They might work five days a week, but they might pick up a couple shifts on a Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and the decision is quite important for those employers because it, it defines an employer's obligation that, that while an employee is entitled to a day of rest, Within seven, uh, the employer cannot cause that employee to forego that entitlement or, or to make them work that seventh day within a single work week. And so the California Supreme Court decided that uh, an employer has an obligation to apprise employees of that entitlement and to remain neutral uh, and leave the decision whether to work that seventh day up to the employee, him or herself.